Hello everybody, it's King back here with another video. Today, guys, we're back with another episode of Warframe. As you guys can see, Borrow is back in the um game. So, first of all, before we even go check out what he's got, uh, I want to go check out what the hell Arcanes do, like I mentioned in the last episode, because I'm pretty sure the main story quest that we're doing right now with the Arcane Codexes is related to Arcanes. So, I think we're going to go first check out the tutorial for whatever the hell Arcanes are, and then we will go uh, check out what Borrow actually has in stock and then we'll continue on with the main story quest so a couple of sort of uh, short uh, tangents or short little detours and then we're gonna proceed with the main story anyway I am really curious what the hell arcanes are because I, I I watched a warframe video like explaining like the best ember build or something because like I kind of wanted to have an idea of how good she could get because I was still a, a little worried that like by picking ember I was I would basically be crippling myself for late game but um I, I was re like before I um sorry after I had already watched the video um like one of my mods had basically like reaffirmed to me he was like oh no 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 any warframe can be good late game it's, it literally, literally doesn't matter and so um it, it was nice knowing that but anyway. Uh, I have a bunch of arcanes, and they, they <laughs> hasn't told me anything about them. <laughs> what? I thought that this would, like, be a tutorial or some shit, but it just tells me the ones that I've got, and it doesn't tell me anything about them otherwise. Standing in a zone created by a residual arcane creates a, um... Creates a globe that orbits the player every two seconds. The globe will strike the nearest enemy within 15 meters, dealing 150 damage, increasing their vulnerability to the globe's damage type by 25% for six seconds. Globes will persist for 30 seconds. Residual shock on Kit Gun Gill. Um, 20% chance to spawn an electrified spike. Uh, I have no idea what Kit Guns are. On Warframe, on Warframe, on Warframe. Arcane Acceleration. On critical hit, 30% chance for plus 15% fire rate to primary weapons. Um, on critical hit, 60% chance for plus 30 uh, melee damage to melee weapons. Okay, these are cool and all, but I... I is this... Wait, is the kit gun just a normal, like... Hold on, I, I can probably... Ch wait, here, kit guns. What the hell is a kit gun? Uh, primary, secondary, melee. Are kit guns like arch guns and shit hold on I, I think we might be able to figure this out uh let me let me use my brain for a second so let's go here and let us go here i'm assuming that this is what a kit gun is right so is a kit gun just the shit that you use for the um for the what, what is this thing called again the um it's not railjack it's wait is it rail no it's not okay railjack it is um you know what? I'm blanking on the name right now, so I'm gonna... Oh, wait, actually, maybe if I appear in... I'm not appearance. Where? Oh, bro, there... Why is there not a description for this shit? God damn it. Um, the arsenal... Yeah, there's literally no description for this shit. Okay, whatever the hell this thing is called. Um, I wonder if this is what a kit gun is. Like, can we, can we see even? Is there a way for us to check? Uh... Huh. I, I honestly have zero clue. A long range rifle capable of firing. Yeah, it doesn't mention kit gun here at all, so I don't know what that term is referring to. Um, I would assume it's just a primary weapon, but I don't. But like, I, for whatever reason, if it was just a primary weapon, I feel like they would just come out and say, "Oh, it's it's the primary weapon." So whatever the hell kit guns are, we have those. Um, I don't know if arcanes can be removed or if you need to pay a price to remove them, because like I would just put these arcanes here but i am kind of worried that like if you place them here you actually have to like uh pay currency to remove them or like to swap them out or whatever and so i mean it, that hasn't been the theme with the game so far right all of these can be removed as, as much as i want and they don't really cost me any currency but arcanes seem to be a little bit of a higher tier upgrade and so i am kind of worried about that I'm, I'm worried about messing up my ember builds so i am just gonna wait until this video comes out or i'll message one of my mods after the, the recording this video and they will explain it to me anyway i'm gonna go ahead to uh mercury and see what the hell borrow has in stock and then um i'll be right back all right, we are in Mercury's uh, Relay Center. Let's just run over here. Uh, the only reason I decided to record this little, like, walking from the, like, spawn point to where Borrow should be is because, um, in case anyone doesn't know where he is, you know what I mean? That way you guys can just kind of follow along. Although, to be fair, I don't know where he is right now either, but I'm sure I can find him with relative ease. Um, I mean, I, I just saw this person dropping, so maybe he's over here. Uh, hold on, descend. Because I know they're in the relays. I, I found him last time in the relay within, like, a couple minutes of searching. So, I mean, this one should be easy as well, except I can't leave. Okay, there we go. I, I was stuck in the bubble forever. That would have been, um... 
Very, very bad. Okay, but I don't see any terminals here, so this is probably not the area. Um, let's go here. Oh, this is mission control. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do. Gotcha. All right, I'm in the wrong area. Completely wrong area. That person, <laughs> that person completely got me into the wrong space. Also, I, I really find it annoying that I can't just, like, fly up anywhere. Um, where, where's the button to take me back up? Is there a button to take? Actually, hold on. I don't need a button to take me back up. I can... Wait, I can't? Aw, oh, damn it. There's actually an invisible wall. I can't just... All right, that's really annoying. Um, that's that's embarrassing. Hold on. Is this thing going to take me up? Yep, there we go. <laughs> I should have gone to the one with the symbol instead of making a fool of myself. <laughs> All right, it's okay. It's okay. Um, and is it in this direction then? Where's our boy Barrow? Uh, da -da -da -da. Is it here then? Nope, this is not a door apparently. Cool, cool, cool. Um, bro, this always happened. Last time this happened too. All right, you know what? I will, I will find Borrow. I should have probably done this first. I'm gonna go look for actually Borrow, and then I'll show you guys the path to, to to find him. Okay, I found him, and I also feel really stupid. So from the dock, he's literally just a straight line across. Like if you open up the map, right? He's literally just all the way at the end of the hole. I feel so dumb for not just going in a straight line beforehand. But if I just go like this, he's literally right here. This is him right here. This is, oh, I mean, he's covered by a bunch of players, but here he is. That was, bro, that was so easy. I feel so stupid for getting lost the first time. All right. Um, let's see if he has any good shit. Ooh, a sentinel mask. A mask worn by, uh, to match the one worn by a borrow kachir for your sentinel pet. That's, I, I don't even know what a sentinel is, but this thing is... <laughs> oh my god, no, the furry borrow meme is actually a real thing. Oh my god, I'm assuming the sentinel is some kind of pet. Bruh, no, oh my god, borrow is actually a furry. I know y'all are gonna be very confused, but this is a Discord meme. If you don't understand, join the Discord and you will understand. But, um, oh my god, Orochi's dreams are coming true right now. <laughs> um, Ignis Raph, a blue... A blood red variant of this destructive flamethrower. I don't have the wrath, but I just like how this thing looks. Desert skate floor? Avoid shifting sands with a squishy little fella. Oh, I want this shit so bad. Um, I, I need more Ducats, obviously. I only got 55, but I'm, I'm just looking. Ooh, you know what? I want this shit too. This thing looks cool. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything good that I would actually kind of want. Uh, oh, you know what? This shit looks sick. I want this shit bad. Uh, oh, you know what? This kind, this glyph, I would not be against. Uh, even though I don't really know what it is, it just kind of looks cool. Prime Ravage. Okay, this is for shotguns I don't care about. Prime Grenz Orkin. Plus, uh, to Orkin? Orkin? Wait, what? Since when can you fight the Orkin? I thought the Orkin were extinct. Am I crazy? Wait, 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 wait. I know there's the Greenier. I know that there's the, um, uh, the, what, what, what's the other faction? It's the Greenier, the Infested, and then there's, there's that one other faction that I always forget about. It's the, um, the ones that run the Codex. Well, what, what are they called again? Uh, oh, whatever. I, I literally always forget about them, so who cares? But, like, I, uh, we haven't fought any Orkin. I didn't even know Orkin were in the game. I don't know if I just spoiled myself or not. I mean, I might have just spoiled myself. <laughs> Ooh, this is a... No oh, I don't know if I have this one yet already. Do I actually... Can I check if I... Oh, I do. Owned one. Okay, this is actually a really good one. I'm, I'm glad I have it. Um, Probably one of my mods gave this to me because I have no idea how I would have gotten it otherwise. There's a lot of shotgun mods, which I don't really see myself using a shotgun anytime soon. But, um... Fey Path, Ethermia, I really want this one, bro. I really want this one. It was in the last time, too, but I want this one just because it looks kind of nice. I'm not going to put it on my Ember, but I want it for other shit. Also, we obviously need to get this one. Any sort of appearance, uh, not appearance, sorry, any sort of um maps are really good because I always use them for making thumbnails. So the more of those I can collect, the best, the better. But um, I'm not really seeing a lot of shit that I want. You know what I mean? Uh, I think just this thing, the cape, uh, the mask too, because why not? And then, if I can get this armor, I, I would, because why not? I want the poster, and then, um, ha, I, I really kind of think, I, obviously, the face shit as well, but I think that's kind of it, and this shit, but, like, even that is, like, yeah, you know what, that's actually a lot of shit, bro, that's a lot of shit, hold on, what? Slash and blast with this heavy gun blade for brutal grenier design. High slash damage paired with a heavy shotgun attack. I might... I think I'm gonna buy this. I know it's mastery line, but it just seems too good to be true. I kind of really want to... All right, you know what? I'm gonna get this as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to farm Ducats like crazy. He's here for the next, like, two days or whatever. Um, next time I'll have I'm gonna have to farm so stupidly sure. hard, bro, but it's okay. 
It's okay, all right? I have a bunch of mods. Uh, I have a bunch of relics as well. I'm sure I can farm enough Ducats within the next, like, two days or so. It's gonna be extremely difficult, but I will do it. I will do it for the cool shit, okay? I'm gonna do it for the cool factor. I'm gonna do it for the vine. Or right, oh my, oh my god, I just I cringed myself out of existence there. Oh, bro, do it for the vine? What am I? A boomer? I have no, I actually don't know generation terms. But pretty sure boomer is the most recent generation, right? Like, what, is it a millennial or Gen Z? Bro, I have no, I'm not gonna lie. People just keep making up terms that I just like, Maroon that I ignore. Like, Gen Z, boomer, all that millennial, all that bullshit. I don't know what any of them mean, bro. I know they refer to different age groups, but I just, I don't bother myself with it. And so, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm attempted to try, bro. I already knew I couldn't. I have no clue what any of them refer to. Uh, I just, I, instead of like discriminating against people due to their age groups, I just like to discriminate against people with, <laughs> based on their brain cells. You know what I mean? How dumb they are as an individual. It's really the only way we should be discriminating against people. Let's, let's just keep it a buck, all right? If you're an idiot, you kind of deserve to be discriminated against. That, that's your own choice for being an idiot. But like, <laughs> other than that, <laughs> there's, there really shouldn't be any discrimination happening. Let's just keep it a buck. But, um... Anyway, I, I don't know why that got into such a serious topic out of nowhere, but regardless, let's go kill some things. You know what? Uh, to, to cleanse our soul of the seriousness. How do I get? Oh, you know what? Bro, obvious, obviously. Oh, hold on, can I do it in one try? I can do it in one try. Let's go, bro. Uh, I really gotta make some ciphers as well. I keep saying, I said that in the last episode. But to be fair, I said that in the last episode, and then I went to sleep right after. Wait, no, actually, I watched Deadpool and Wolverine, and then I went to sleep right after. But, like, bro, by the way, that movie is so good. That movie is so good. I wasn't gonna watch it, because it's Marvel, and I'm not gonna lie, Marvel has kinda lost my trust. I, I literally have not watched any Marvel movies for a, quite some time. I think I saw, like, the Spider-Man shit that came out, and then I'm not, that was literally it. I, I, I don't think I've seen anything else from marvel so every time people are disappointed how the hell am i supposed to get there i don't understand i don't there, there's no door here and there's no path this isn't like a i don't i don't understand what am i supposed to do to get there um i don't i am so very confused right now hold on oh hold on do i have to go like this bro whoever designed these ships like, I'm sending to Todd Hell, okay? I'm gonna send them to Purgatory, just cause... Like, like, who made these goddamn ships? Bro, okay. I thought the door wasn't gonna open and it was gonna tell me I was in the wrong spot. I was gonna be so mad. Alright, there we go. And, um, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, we're stealing shit. Right, I forgot. We're, we're robbing them. We're, we're, the, bro, it was already bad enough when we were just... <laughs> when we were just mindlessly murdering them. But, like, now we're robbing products. them as well, which is kind of so sad, bro. It's like, hey, hey, don't worry. I'm gonna murder your entire family, and I'm gonna steal your life's work. Isn't that just... Isn't that just nice? <laughs> isn't that... Isn't that so nice of me? But, no, for real, though. Like, that pull of Wolverine was crazy good, bro. I, I honestly was not expecting much. I mean, I, I knew it was good because I heard so much of it being good. But... I thought it was just hyped, you know what I mean? I thought it was basically just like, well, it's better than the Marvels, or it's better than, like, the, the, uh, Kamala Khan, or it's better than She-Hulk. So, like, it's good, right? I thought that was, that's what was happening. I thought it was, like, in comparison to other Marvel shit, it's good. Which isn't really, like, a high bar these days. So, I kind of went into it with low expectations, but my god, bro, I was literally laughing the entire time. I didn't even realize I had gotten to the end of the movie by the time I got to the end of the movie. Like, I didn't realize I had spend a couple hours you know what i mean like it was it was genuinely bro it's such a nice watch and then um i i don't know how youtube knew but youtube knew that i watched the deadpool wolverine which by the way i'm not gonna give any spoilers for uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet you absolutely should it's really really good but um regardless like it was so good, and then YouTube started recommending me videos, right, about Deadpool and Wolverine. I, I, again, I have no idea how it knew I watched it, but it just did. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, I'm not even gonna hold you. I find it so hilarious that one of the main reasons why Deadpool and Wolverine is as good as it was is because of Ryan Reynolds, and I swear to God, this has actually already been verified, and it's fucking hilarious, I swear. But the reason that Deadpool and Wolverine, one of the reasons at least, is so good is because Ryan Reynolds, right, vetoed the, the, the She-Hulk and Captain Marvel scenes, okay? Now, 
you already know, okay, Brie Larson is, um, Brie Larson is honestly should not even be part of the MCU, okay? Her inclusion into the MCU was the start of the MCU's downfall. Everybody knows it, let's be honest. Like, everyone is like, after Endgame, uh, the MCU started getting bad. No, 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 let's keep it a buck. The MCU started getting bad when Captain Marvel 1 released. The only reason it wasn't an immediate decline is because Endgame came, uh, sorry, because Endgame came out right after it, okay? That's the only reason. Like, if Captain Marvel, if like Endgame happened, right? And then Captain Marvel came out right after Endgame as a prequel of sorts, right? To be like, hey, in case you guys were wondering where Captain Marvel was before, like, Endgame happened, right? Because they could genuinely switch the release order of Endgame and Captain Marvel and nothing would change because nobody cares, right? But, like, let's just say, for the sake of, for, like, Devil's Argument, right? They switch, uh, I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I, I keep walking back and forth because I'm super lost. Oh, there we go. Okay, look at that. I stopped commentating for four seconds and my brain cells get a break. And now I know where I'm going. But, um, <laughs> What was I what was I saying? Right. So let's just say that they switched the release date, okay? Let's say Endgame came out first, and then afterwards they released Captain Marvel, right? As a little hey, in case you were curious about where this character was, like before Endgame, this is where she was, this is what she was doing, right? If that happened, right, people wouldn't be going, oh, the the like the decline of the Marvel uh, like cinematic universe was Endgame. No, they'd be rightfully saying it was Captain Marvel, right? But because, like, Captain, uh, like, Endgame was released right after Captain Marvel, like, it kind of, like, cushioned the decline, right? The decline was eminent from the moment they released Captain Marvel, but Endgame, with how great it was, really cushioned that shit, right? So it's like, if, if I had, like, a chart or, like, a graph, You're right? Captain Marvel comes out, the line immediately now, starts to dip. Start then the Endgame comes, and it stabilizes everything, right? It, it makes the line stop dipping, and it might even make it, like, a straight line. And then all the other shit that they had planned comes out, and the MCU just slowly dies, right? And it's like... Like, Endgame isn't responsible for the MCU dying. I, I've seen a lot of people on the internet, oh, the, the MCU's been dead since Endgame. That's just not true. The MCU's been dead since the MCU, right? Sorry, since um Captain Marvel got released. Endgame was just a little buffer, right? It was like the old MCU got resurrected just for one more moment or whatever. Wait, is this a... Is this a... What? Is this a barrier? Uh... Bro, I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough time. I have like 30 seconds, but I got- oh, never mind. I thought that elevator was gonna take way longer. Hold on. Wow, that was- bro, that was easy. Okay, never mind. That was mad easy. Uh, that's the Arcane Codex? Oh, what's in the other shit then? Yeah, I was about to say, bro, I don't know what else is in this vault, but I'm absolutely gonna- actually, hold on. That's a lot of red dots on my, um, on my map. I would not be- a proper disciple of Todd. If I didn't just slaughter everything real quick, hold on. Let me, let me just uh, let me just melt. Oh wow. Okay. Double double death. All right. That's 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 okay there. That's okay. We all know fools don't count as actual deaths. That's that's them just the rules. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Okay, good. But imagine I wasn't recording any of that shit. That would be really sad. But no. Um. Apparently, right. Ryan Reynolds. Um. No, I I know that like I've gone like four tangents. But what happened is. The MCU had forced um, Ryan Reynolds to record a scene, um, not just Ryan Reynolds, but Hugh Jackman as well, right, Wolverine. Um, they forced him to record scenes with Captain Marvel and um, She-Hulk, respectively, where um, their characters get their ass beaten, okay? And obviously, Captain Marvel and She-Hulk are just doing Captain Marvel and She-Hulk things, right? Where, uh, oh, there's that Atean star from last episode. See, I told you guys, I told you guys we were gonna get one. We're just gonna pretend that this has all happened, like, in the same- Oh, what the hell? Okay, alright, alright, okay, alright. Alright, I, I, I didn't realize that the floor, um, meant death. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't realize that the floor was lava. <laughs> Bro, you survived the heavy slam? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda surprised. Bro, you, you deserve your credits. I'm not even gonna- You deserve some props. I ain't even gonna hold- Ooh, ooh. A lot of red dots. Hold on. Hold on. That's a lot of red dots right there. Yep. Let me just... Let me just do my duty. <laughs> let me just... <laughs> let me just do my duty as the um, <laughs> universal pest control, alright? Um, your species has been deemed as pests. Come, <laughs> come die real quick. <laughs> but nah. So, like, apparently part of the movie, right, was supposed to have Captain Marvel... And these are not spoilers because, um... Like, they didn't happen, right? They, they, these 
These have been permanently removed from the movie. But apparently there was supposed to be a scene where Captain Marvel, like, drags Deadpool into space, beats him up uh, as, like, part of an interrogation sequence, and then she, um... She, she lets him, like, fall back into Earth's orbit and burn into a crisp. And then apparently there was another scene where, um... Like, She-Hulk, right, beats Wolverine's ass, and then she kind of goes like, oh, um, she, like, breaks the fourth wall, and she, like, criticizes Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, for to toxic masculinity, and then she talks to the audience about, like, um, how, like, toxic men are. Like, I, like, here's the thing, right, if this was, like, ten years ago or some shit like that, and I said the nonsense that's coming out of my fucking mouth, like, nobody would believe me. Like, like there's no way the MCU is like, oh, come on now, like, toxic masculinity, are you getting me? Then, like, like, comics are literally a, a, um, a, a, a media form that is primarily de dominated by men. There, there's no way they would insult their own audience like that, right? But, like, it's sad that, like, as I'm saying this, I'm absolutely 100% certain that nobody's even questioning whether or what I'm saying is true or not. I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyway, we're back. Uh, but yeah, it's really sad that, like, none of you even, ha like, doubted yourselves, right? Like, you you heard what I was saying, and you all went immediately, oh, yep, yep, that makes sense, right? And it's kind it's so sad, because if this was in the past, there's no way I could have said that shit. I don't, don't get me wrong, what I'm saying is absolutely true. You guys can go confirm it for yourselves. But what I'm saying is that, like, it's so sad that this is the state that the MCU has gotten in, where if I say that shit, nobody even questions it, right? No, nobody even questions it, and regardless of how absurd it sounds, right? Like, well, what do you mean in the middle of a superhero, like, fight sequence, like, a character just breaks a fourth wall to lecture the audience about toxic masculinity? Like, like what are you talking about? And it's like, like, bruh, I'm not gonna lie. I really was, like, like, after I was done watching the movie, I was very surprised. I was like, how is this, like, a Marvel movie? This is so good. Like, is Marvel actually, like, cleaning up their act? And then I find out that, no, it's not cleaning up their act. It's specifically only because Ryan Reynolds, right? Which, A, gives me hope, and also B, really makes me kind of worried. Because here's the thing, right? Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Robert Downey Jr., who is the person who played Iron Man, right? is being recast to play Doctor Doom in the upcoming, like, Marvel movies, right? I was gonna watch that movie because Robert Downey Jr. is just such a great actor and I find it difficult to believe that he would allow the nonsense that Marvel's been cooking up to infect anything that he's, like, a part of. Here's the issue with that uh, premise, though, right? Ryan Reynolds, who is arguably, right, also a no wall, uh, like, uh, sorry, a, a no woke nonsense type of actor was so forced to record those scenes, right? And he had to argue, like, like, it was reported that he had to have multiple rounds of negotiation to have those moves removed, uh, sorry, to have those scenes removed, right? Which tells me that Marvel no is still trying to push the bullshit to. even with the actors like no. Ryan Reynolds and like really? Robert Downey Jr. Like, I, I, well, it's I almost like they the don't care if the movie understand. succeeds. They just want to push their agenda even now, even when the Marvel is in the dumps. Like, the only reason this movie didn't, wasn't horrible, wasn't terrible, is because of Ryan Reynolds. Which is great, because we got a good movie, we got a very enjoyable movie out of it. But it's also got me worried for the Doctor Doom movie, right? I have a feeling, I have a feeling that Robert Downey Jr.'s movie may not be as non-Marvel as we would like it, okay? I have a feeling that the movie may go one of two ways, right? Either Robert Downey Jr. does exactly what Ryan Reynolds does, and he sits down with the executives, and he goes, no, we're not, we're not adding these bullshit scenes, or, or... I, I mean, hey, man, there is, or, or like, Do uh, Doctor Doom has a daughter, and it's actually about Victoria Doom, and, and who cares about Victor Doom? No, 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 it's about Victoria now, right? Like, like, I'm really worried that shit happens. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really worried. Like, Deadpool and Wolverine have given me sort of hope, but after finding out the news of what happened behind the scenes, all that hope has kind of, like, become much more doubtful and much more, uh, almost broken, because it was like, oh, great, they made a good movie, maybe they're starting to change their agenda, and then you find out, no, they didn't change their agenda, they, they wanted to push it regardless, 
and it's only because of Ryan Reynolds that this shit didn't happen. And I'm like, wow. So like, like, what, what can I expect from the Doctor Doom movie then? Because like, I want to see Robert Downey Jr. play Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is a very cool like character, right? If you guys don't know, he has the um, uh, I can't remember. Is it a moral or a mortal Iron Man or some shit like that? Um, where basically Doctor Doom becomes Iron Man in, in like a comic run, right? So it's basically like I, if they do that later on in the in like the MCU, I would be so down for it. Okay, uh, I, I was really hoping for Superior Iron Man. Um, we never got that, but I mean, a moral Iron Man or whatever it's called, like the white suited. Um, the, like sorry, not white suited. The um, like like Doctor Doom Iron Man. If that happens in the MCU. I'm, I would be all for it, bro. I'm all here for it. But now I'm kind of hesitant where, like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to watch the movie. Because uh, if, they, if they, they already tried to push this shit, right, with Ryan Reynolds, I'm really worried they try to push this shit with, Art, with Robert Downey Jr. too. And I don't know if Robert Downey Jr. is going to stand for it. That's kind of the issue. I don't know enough about him. To, be, to believe that he would be willing to, be, to to put his neck out there and be like, eh, I don't want this, right? Because I just, I don't know. I, I really don't know if he would like how much say and how much control he has. I know he takes millions of dollars every time they like even give him a cameo, right? So I know he's kind of the face of the, of the Marvel Universe, but I don't know how much that actually means to the current marvel if that makes sense anyway this was supposed to be a warframe episode it turned out to be a marvel discussion um i, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed it anyway and enjoyed my thoughts and shit um uh, i'm gonna be uh by the way we did a poll in the discord for like uh if you guys wanted this, me to make like a reaction channel where i can just like kind of react to videos about news and all the types of like nonsense that happens in the world and just give my opinions so um th those videos like i still haven't made the channel but once that video like once that channel comes out um more discussion type videos will be posted on that channel so like if you guys did enjoy this when that channel comes out maybe consider subscribing and consider subscribing to this one too if you want to see more of this kind of content i do hope you all have had a wonderful day if not i do hope it turns into great and wonderful day and i'll see you all tomorrow